Hey everyone, so this is day two of Goblins vs. Gnomes, and I wanted to cover the first version of my Mech Mage deck. It had some tweaking yesterday, and it had some tweaking today even, so this is very work in progress. But um, I wanted to share with you the technology I have uncovered so far with this Mage deck. Um, so I'm just going to go through a card by card. Uh, the main overall concept of this deck is to build up spare parts and the spare parts can be used on the mana worm early to get some attack on the mana worm and for Antonitis because it's extra low cost spells to be used for Antonitis. We'll get to that later. Starting at the top, Clockwork Gnome. It's a one drop and this is an auto include because its death rattle is adding a spare part to our hand and as we know that the spare parts are super um, important to us for this deck they also synergize with the Tinker Town Technician, but of course we'll talk about more about that when I get there. So Clockwork Gnomes adds spare parts to your hand, so it's a no-brainer to include this in your deck. And it's a cool one mana two one. You get a, a card out on the board on turn one, then they have to deal with it, so it's cool. Um, mana Worm I mentioned, so this card synergizes with all of the spells that we have in the deck and with all of the spare parts, which act as spells. So this card is great for this deck as well. Frostbolt is a really simple, obviously, mage spell, deal 3 damage for 2 mana. Um, you have to keep this because it's a nice low cost if you're behind on board and you have a bunch of high cost cards and you can't play anything on turn 2 or 3 and they have a minion in the way. Um, that works if you need to do lethal. Uh, this is 3 damage for lethal. If you need to freeze something, this freezes something. Unstable Portal. Okay, so this card is completely broken and will most likely be nerfed at some point in time. I think it'll probably be nerfed to say add a random minion to your hand that costs two less instead of three less. I, th I can see that being a nerf. Um, but I was going to put, uh, um, I was going to put, what card was it? I was going to put Ice Lances in the deck um, because it's a one mana spell for Antonitis and it will synergize with Frostbolt and it will synergize with Snow Chugger and it will synergize with Water Elemental, and it will synergize with a spare part that comes out. So, obviously it has a lot of synergies. So I was thinking about using it, but right now Unstable Portal is too OP. So again, this is a very work in progress. If you don't have the Unstable Portals, maybe try the Ice Lances, or try one of each. Um, but Unstable Portal right now is in place of Ice Lance, and it's still a low-cost spell that you can use with Antonitis, and you can use to power up the Mana Worm, obviously. So Unstable Portal, I've gotten... Uh, Hogger, I've gotten Memoron's Head, which obviously synergizes well with my deck because it's all mechs. Um, yeah, it's the the card is just insane, so it's in my deck for now. Uh, let's see, Mech Warper. This card is also insane. This is a two mana two three mech, and it makes all of your other mechs cost one less. And if you look at um, that, would make the Clockworks cost free. Uh, Snow Chuggers would go down. I have Harvest Golems. I have the three four Spider Tanks. I have the Mechanical Yetis. So those will all cost one less, which is insane. So Mech Warper, it's a mech, and it's very good with the rest of my deck. Snow Chugger is the cool new 2-3 um, uh, mage card that everyone likes, because it's really cute and says Chugga Chugga. And what's its flavor text? Let's look at that. Do the slow chant when he waddles by, Chug Chug Chug. So that's cute. So Snow Chugger, I mean, he's a mech, and he also freezes minions, so he's a really good 2-drop. Arcane Intellect, uh, I found that while I'm playing this deck, I oftentimes, if I send out a bunch of early minions, I need to get my tempo back and get some more cards in my hand. So that's what Arcane Intellect does, and it's very good at it, obviously. Harvest Golem is your classic, really, really good card, but now it's classified as a mech, so it synergizes well with this deck. Um, so it's a standard card that's a mech now, so it's great. Spider Tank is a new mech, and it's a 3-4 three, for four, 3, which I don't think there's ever been anything like that with those stats. So this card's pretty great, so it's a good 3-drop to put in this deck. The Tinkertown Technician is a new card that synergizes with mechs. The Tinkertown Technician is a 3-3 three, three for 3, but if you have a mech on the field, which if you see all of these that are lower cost, and not even higher cost, but all of these that are lower cost mechs, and will cost even lower with the synergy of Mech Warper, if you have a uh, mech on the board, this card gains plus one, plus one, so it'll become a 4-4 four, four for three mana, which is great. And you get a spare part in your hand. Um, and I already talked about spare parts. So that's, uh, that's a really great card. It's a really great three drop, and it synergizes with the rest of my deck, so that's why it's in there. 
Polymorph is your standard removal for mages that can take out a big target, uh, take out the sludge belchers, take out the uh, the new, um, well not that, won't take out that. It'll take out the Tyrians, um, it'll just take out any, any of the giants that people play, any of the new legendaries, any big cards, it'll take out everything that you don't have any way to take out. So, And then this synergizes well with your hero power, if you need to completely eliminate something it'll cost 6 mana too. Polymorph it into a 1-1 one, one sheep, and if you feel like you have to get rid of it, you can hero power it, or you can clear it with something you have on the board already, hopefully. Okay, now, this 4-drop slot is something that I've been experimenting with, and I literally just changed this before I started recording this video. This is the Goblin Blast Mage, which is the new card for GVG for mages, another one. Um, what this does is it's a 5-4 for 4, so it's already pretty good, because um, if you look at like the Yeti's stats, which is the same as the normal Chillwind Yeti, it's a 4-5 for 4, so this is a 5-4 uh, four for 4. So it's just as good, just as many stats. And it has a great battle cry, where if you have a mech on the board, which again, my whole deck is synergized around having mechs, you will do 4 damage split among all enemies, which includes the minions and the, your opponent's face. So this is good if you're playing against aggro, or if there's something on the board that has 1 or 2 health. Uh, playing Goblin Blast Mage, you'll probably get to kill it, and you'll get left with a 5-4 on the board. So it's a huge tempo swing. Uh, the reason I say I was conflicted about this is because, obviously, this deck doesn't have a Fireball. But what I got to thinking was that if you get Antonitis out and you combo with some spare parts, you're going to get free Fireballs in your hand. So that's why I went ahead and cut them for now. I was running two Blast Mages, and then I switched to two Fireballs, and then I switched to one of each, and now I'm back to running two Blast Mages. So this is in a very experimental slot. The 4 slot can change very often and very frequently, um, and probably will change very soon in the future. Uh, but he's great. I mean, he's, he's a 5-4 for 4, so he's got great stats, and he deals 4 damage when he comes on the board. So it's a really good card. The Mechanical Yeti, which is cool because it's just like the Chillin Yeti, but it's a, a mech now. So it's a mech uh, Yeti, and its death rattle is it gives each player a spare part. So it's kind of iffy because your opponent gets a spare part, and he could really take advantage of a spare part. Even if it's just one part and doesn't synergize with his deck, it could be something that helps him a lot. Um, but you also get the spare part, which is important because we need to use the spare parts with the Mana Worm, and more importantly on Antonitis. Um, so now to talk about spare part, well I'll just finish my deck real quick. Uh, Water Elemental I stuck in here because it is a solid 4-drop for mages still. The 3-6 are just insane stats, like if you look at the 4-5 and 3-6, it's just really, really good stats. Um, and it freezes minions. So again, if I was running uh, Frostbolt, or not Frostbolt, Ice Lance, um, it would, do, it would be able to kill something easily. So again, I'm still thinking about that, but Unstable Portal is just too good to me right now. So that's being experimented with as well. But Water Elemental is just a great mage card, so I just included it. Now, Black Knight here could be a lot of different things. It could be Sylvanas, it could be Karen, um, it could be a new uh, uh, GBG Legendary that I haven't dropped yet. It could be that Tolly Tolly guy that gives you a spare part, which probably I would experiment with whenever I drew him. Um, it could be a uh, Harrison, because there's uh, I think Paladins are going to be huge in the meta, uh, and they're going to be dependent on weapons, especially with Muster for Battle and that sort of thing. So uh, Harrison could work. But I put Black Knight in here, because it's another hard removal for something, like besides Polymorph, for something that has a taunt. And the thing about this deck, that a lot of people haven't thought about, at least from what I've been reading and seeing online, is that all the spare parts, which I'll go over at the end of the deck, one of the spare parts is called a Rusty Horn. And what the Rusty Horn does was it gives a minion taunt. And it's not a friendly minion, it is a minion, meaning any minion. So if your opponent plays a Ragnaros on turn 8, and you have a uh, Rusty Horn in your deck, and a Rusty Horn in your hand, and a Black Knight in your hand, you can kill the Ragnaros. Um, so the Black Knight can execute any enemy that your opponent plays that you can put a Rusty Horn on. Obviously, you can put it on anything besides something that can't be targeted by spells. So that's why I'm including Black Knight right now. I think I'm going to roll with him for a while, because that Rusty Horn synergy is really good. Because um, otherwise, Rusty Horn's not really a good spare part to get. Um, because a lot of these you don't want to give them taunt, unless it's like the Yeti or something like that. You don't want to give it to like Antonitis, because if you want to hide it behind something else. So, Rusty Horn isn't super good spare part for us to get, besides just beefing up Mana Worm and Antonitis for spells and for uh, damage. But you can use it on any minion and just kill them. So that's why I'm running Antonitis. 
Um, flame strike for a board clear, because if we get really far behind, this will get us really this will get us caught up. Uh, just one standard flame strike. If we're to get, it's like a get out of jail free card if we need it. And then Antonitis, as I mentioned, is the whole point of this deck. So the dream here is to get the spare part that is called Finicky Cloakfield. What Finicky Cloakfield does is it gives them minion stealth until the beginning of your next turn, until the start of your next turn. So the dream here is with all of your play up until turn eight, you want to draw some spare parts, and then hopefully you draw a Finicky Cloakfield. And if you draw a Finicky Cloakfield, you can play Antonitis on turn eight. You'll have one mana left. You play you play the the Finicky Cloakfield on top of Antonitis. It will have stealth, so it cannot die. It will live one more turn, and you will get a fireball in your hand. So you'll be able to double fireball next turn for 12 damage. And that might be enough for lethal, and if you have Antonitis and there's no taunts in your way, that's 5 more. So that's 17 damage on uh, turn 9. That's the dream. It's kind of like a miracle. Um, so that's the deck. So I told you a couple of the cards that were left. There's like there's like 3 or 4 cards that could change in this deck. I might throw Ice Lances in, I might get rid of Black Knight, I might throw in a Fireball instead of Blast Mage. But this is how it's working for now. I've had a lot of fun. Um, my first 8 games I played, I went 6 and 2. So it's not that bad. Um, got and I'm still learning how to play it, obviously. So I don't know all my plays are 100% correct. But I'm gonna go ahead and jump into some ranked and play some games, and they'll be uploaded in separate videos, and I'll link them in the bottom of this video. So uh, let's see how we do, and I hope you guys like the deck.